The equation of a circle is x minus. So here we have the equation of a circle, and we know that the standard form for the equation of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. In this case, 20 represents h, 5 represents k, and 25 represents r squared. So the center of this circle is going to be 20 comma 5, and the radius is going to be 5. Because if the radius squared equals 25, you can square root each side, and we know the radius must be 5. So if we were to plot this circle, we go over 20 up 5 for the center, and the radius is 5. So if we went up 5, we know the circle is going to just rest on this x-axis. So this is 5, and this distance is 20. And we want to know how many times it has to roll without slipping to rest on the origin. So it's going to be rolling this way till it rests exactly on the origin. Well, right now, the point of tangency is 20 away from the origin. So we need to know how many times the circle has to roll to travel 20 units. Well, if we roll it once around, an, a complete rotation, uh, we're going to be rolling it the length of the circumference. If we can see this circumference is going to be mapped out onto this, onto the axis as it rolls. So the circumference of this circle is 2 pi r, where r is 5. So the circumference is 10 pi, which is about 31.5, or 31.415. So that means if this circle does one full rotation, it travels 20, er, I'm sorry, if this does one full rotation, it travels 31.415. We actually only need it to go 20. So if it does a full rotation, it's actually going to overshoot its target. So we don't even need a full circle. We only need a fraction of a circle. So to figure out what fraction, well, we want to go 20. We want to figure out how many full rotations. Each rotation is worth 31.415. So we want to figure out how many of these must we fit into 20. We get 0.637. So we don't want a full rotation, because then we're going to travel 31.415 feet, or units, rather. And we only need to travel 20 units. So we actually only need to travel 0.637 of a rotation to have this circle roll and rest on the origin.